Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. In this one we're checking out the Atmos FX window material. If you're checking out this video, it's probably because like me, you're into digital decorations. We're coming up to Christmas 2020 here for this video. So I'm getting ready to do my seasonal window. I didn't do anything for Halloween this year, but I've uh, got some of the new Atmos FX uh, digital decorations for Christmas, which I'll put a link in the description. If it's your first time ordering, you will get a discount and you'll see a couple of those in this video. In, in previous years, if you look at some of the other videos, I have just used a shower curtain for a couple of reasons. One, they're super cheap and they work well. And Atmos FX being an American company, these are quite expensive and obviously you've got to pay shipping from the US as well. But last year I decided that I would plump up and get one to see what is the proper material really like. Is it any good? And do I think it compares well compared to the much cheaper um, shower curtains? So that's what this video is all about. So I'm just going to have a little look inside. I then bought myself some small magnets that I'm hoping I can attach this to the window blind in my dining room window. Then we get some projections set up on there. Be some links to the projectors I'm gonna test as well. Probably use the, the Alphas one and basically see what the quality is like. So this is what it looks like when it comes in a bag like this. I've got the extra large version. So it's five and a half by nine foot. So if you've got a bigger window, this is something that you're going to want. So super easy, pop things open. There's a couple of little clips that are holding it all together. It's quite a nice kind of feeling fabric. I'm not sure if it says what material it's made out of. Uh, if I get that information, I'll put it on the screen now. This is it. It, it feels pretty nice. Inside we've got a couple of things. So there are some plastic adhesive hooks. I'm assuming we can hook this up with. Again, I'm gonna use some magnets, but that's quite good that we have that option. And then we look inside. Various different pieces of these plastic clippings which are holding it all together. Bit of cardboard. And then we see these are the, the eyelets that again, we could hook, hook this up to. So holding it up to the camera and holding it up to the light, it's semi-transparent which obviously is gonna do the job for the projecting. So all this means for me to do now is to kind of pop over to the house, offer this up into the window, and then kind of shape it up and see what it looks like. So really all we're gonna be interested in here is how does it compare to use this stuff and a shower curtain. So I will have a shower curtain on as well with this same video, so stay tuned for, to the end after I put this up to see a official Atmos FX version with the digital decorations and a shower curtain version. So without further ado, let's just pop to watch me put this up and test things out.
okay so that concludes this video so I think if you have a larger area and you can position the projector further away then I think the Atmos FX screen works well I think for me in my setup because if you you can see direct angle on here you can see the light of the projector shining through which really you can't see so well with the shower curtain so yeah I think the shower curtain works just fine but um, the Atmos Effect one's probably gonna work better if you've got a larger space to try and use it in. Thanks for watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.